For Comedy Hype News, I'm Ramil Thompson. Many actors dream of landing roles that will define their legacy in the best light possible. These roles are signature characters that these actors are known for and that give them a special place in the minds and hearts of many fans. Due to the large numbers of actors in the industry, there are many actors who have accomplished this feat but may not have the same mainstream recognition given to others for one reason or another. One actor who is loved by the community and fits this bill would be Leon Robinson. Leon Robinson is an actor and singer whose notable appearances are in The Five Heartbeats, The Temptations, Above the Rim, and Waiting to Exhale. An actor who specializes in musical biographies, he has created a memorable niche for himself in Hollywood by excelling in these specific roles and has impacted the black film world in many great ways, which is why Leon Robinson will always remain unforgotten. Leon Preston Robinson was born in Manhattan, New York on March 8, 1962, in the same hospital where his mother worked. In grade school, Leon got his first taste of acting when he participated in a live production inspired by what he saw his older sister doing with rock and roll performances in high school at the time. It was at this moment that Leon has said is more than likely responsible for sparking his interest in acting. Leon would attend Mount St. Michael Academy, a Catholic high school which was right across the street from his home. Due to the fact that there was no drama department at the school, Leon focused and excelled in athletics. Being an East Coast kid in a cold climate always motivated Leon to see what California was like. Leon attended college at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California, where his acting career would spark. While on campus, Leon was coincidentally approached by a student filmmaker who saw something unique in him and asked him to be a part of his film. Initially, Leon suggested that the director find someone else from the drama department, but the director refused insisting that Leon had the exact energy he was looking for and would be a big time movie star one day. Leon took the opportunity presented, which ended up being an enjoyable experience. In a Vlad TV interview, while on set, Leon said, I had that familiar feeling of this is where I'm supposed to be. From this moment on, Leon would officially pursue acting as his main career choice. Leon did not graduate from Loyola as he started working and hustling trying to find acting jobs. His first noted credit appears to have been a role in the 1982 TV series, Making the Grade. The next year in 1983, Leon would land a relatively big role for a newcomer, getting a role with the young Tom Cruise in the film, All the Right Moves. Leon has stated that while filming the movie, he noticed how dedicated Tom Cruise was to his craft and character, more than likely inspiring Leon to step his game up. Another big project would come in the culturally impactful film Colors in 1986, where he played the character of Killer B. Colors was significant in that it was the first film to have a portrayal of Crips and Bloods on the big screen. When speaking on working on set, Leon has stated that both Sean Penn and Robert Duvall's commitment to their characters trickled down to the rest of the cast, which helped the film feel as real as it did. Additionally, Leon has spoken glowingly about director Dennis Hopper, as Hopper would keep Leon company while he was getting bullet wounds done in prosthetics, which normally took about three hours to do on set. According to Leon, Hopper would be by his side for at least two hours and 30 minutes just to keep him company. Between 1989 and 1990, he would make small appearances in television and only did one movie, before capturing one of his most memorable roles as JT in the cult classic film, The Five Heartbeats. The Five Heartbeats is a Robert Townsend musical drama about a fictional R&B group inspired by real life groups such as The Temptations, The Four Tops, and The Dells, with The Temptations being the strongest influence for the film. Robert ran into Leon at the MTV Awards when Leon was with Madonna. In an interview for Netflix's Strong Black Legend, Leon would elaborate on how Robert recruited him for the film. He talked to me in a way no one had talked to me before. He pulled me around the corner of the Wilshire Elba Theater and stuff, and he was saying, you know, I see you as a black matinee idol, someone who women will go to the movies for just because you're in the movies, same way they do with the white guys. He also stated that this musical movie was different and unique because these are fictional characters, which gave him all the freedom to make the character his own. A little known fact about Leon is that he is also a singer, something that definitely prepared him for this role and the other musical roles he is famous for. He's the lead vocalist for his band, Leon and the Peoples, and has won awards for his musical work. Normally, Leon used the method acting technique of staying in character the entire time, but on the set of The Five Heartbeats, this was the first time where he would come out of character when filming stopped, something Leon has noted that made this experience more unique for him. Initially, the movie underperformed in its first weekends, shocking Leon and the rest of the crew. Leon attributed this lackluster performance to the ineffective marketing of the film by 20th Century Fox. In the previously mentioned Vlad TV interview, Leon stated, It wasn't the type of movie 20th Century Fox had released before, so they didn't really know how to get to the black audience. They had a policy where they didn't put promo posters on buses or on train stations. The lack of promotion in these black areas is what Leon thinks hindered the initial release because the target audience wasn't really aware of the film. Despite this, 
The film has since become a huge cult classic in the black community and is frequently referenced as one of the best musical groups in film history. Even the toughest nails Mike Tyson told Leon the film made him cry while watching. The film had many audiences thinking that the Five Heartbeats were a real group and many were shocked to find out that they weren't. Someone told me they found out the Five Heartbeats wasn't a real group and they said they weren't that upset since they found out there was no Santa Claus. Leon's next project would later help define his career when he was cast in the iconic film Above the Rim in 1994. Initially, they were hesitant to hire Leon because they thought he was too young for the role. Upon meeting with Tupac Shakur, Tupac bowed towards Leon in appreciation for his performance in the Five Heartbeats. During filming, Leon stated that Tupac was professional and knew his lines, but offset, there were multiple incidents involving Tupac, which caused production on the film to stop and reschedule a few times, including the infamous cop shooting. Leon and Tupac had a friendly relationship after working together, and even coincidentally had seats close to each other at the Mike Tyson fight in 1996, the night Tupac was murdered. Leon is very proud of the film, and has since called it the best basketball film ever. Another smash hit movie would not be far behind, as Leon was starring the 1995 romance film, Waiting to Exhale, portraying Russell, the husband of Leela Rochon's character, Robin. This was another movie that spawned a memorable line from a character portrayed by Leon, this time the line being, but it's me, baby. The line is infamously funny to many in the black community, including rapper and actor LL Cool J, who told Leon the line was hilarious. After a few years of slight TV and movie appearances, including the popular 1997 film Baps, Leon would land another signature film in his catalog when he got the part of David Ruffin in The Temptations. Due to his previous work in The Five Heartbeats, many industry professionals saw that Leon excelled particularly in musical biopics. While working on The Five Heartbeats, he met real-life Temptations singer Otis Williams, who had a vision for Leon to be in the film from the very beginning. Originally, Leon was supposed to betray Otis, but after being asked what role he thought he'd be best in, Leon told producers he thought he'd be better casted as David Ruffin. The studio agreed, and so he was cast. The movie would be a resounding success and has earned the status of a classic film in many circles. It had very high ratings at the time of its release and has since become lauded as a classic film. Leon's line of, Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. is frequently quoted from the movie as the most memorable line from the entire film. The line was completely improvised, further highlighting Leon's commitment to the character and his skills as an actor. The director, Alan Arkash, told Leon the actor to which he said the line didn't appreciate it. Leon will respond and say, he's not supposed to like it. Did you see his face when I said it? Isn't that what you wanted? The director agreed and the moment was solidified. In a Fox Soul interview, Leon actually revealed that the reason he didn't tell Robert Townsend about his role in The Temptations was because he felt the same commercial success The Temptations had should have also happened with The Five Heartbeats and he felt regretful that this musical biopic got the shine that the former movie did not. Around this time between 1998 and 1999, Leon's personal life was going through some major changes as well. Leon and model slash actress Cynthia Bailey had been dating for some years at this point, and Cynthia would give birth to their daughter Noel in November of 1999. Cynthia and Leon had plans to get married, but for unknown reasons, the two split amicably and have remained really close friends since as co-parents. In the later years, Cynthia would join the TV show Real Housewives of Atlanta, which initially concerned Leon because of the drama associated with reality TV and how close his daughter would be towards that. But after the details were explained, everyone was okay with it. Many supporters have committed their positive co-parenting relationship, and as recently as 2020, Leon showed love to Cynthia when she remarried in an Instagram post with the caption, Cynthia, you've been a supermodel, a super mom to our beautiful Noel, and now today, you start the first day of being a super wife to Mike Hill, he said while staring at the camera. I congratulate you both. I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but I'm filming out of the country, but I'm there in spirit and in love through our daughter Noel he added. I wish you all the best. I'm really happy for you. Much love. In 2000, he landed another signature musical biopic role, playing the rock and roll pioneer Little Richard. While filming on set, Leon had stated that Richard's presence would distract him from trying to portray him, saying, there can only be one Little Richard on set, as it was hard for Leon to focus on acting as the person while the real person was there. Richard understood why Leon needed him to leave, and there was no issue. His portrayal of Richard was well received by audiences and most importantly, Little Richard himself. Leon stated in the aforementioned Vlad TV interview that Little Richard told him, you did a very good job, except I'm prettier. He currently is still a busy actor today in 2022 as he has a movie entitled Roman slated to be released this year. Leon Robinson is another example of black excellence on the big screen. With a career spanning over 40 years and counting, Leon is surely a great example of industry longevity. His dedication to his craft and consistency with musical biopic excellence has helped cement him as one of the best actors of his lifetime, which is why he will remain unforgotten.